So we're back at the Aklawara Prairie Restoration Area and I we just came off across this bridge in a previous video. This is about as far as we made it because we came from that direction over here. And uh, so I wanted to come back and revisit this to uh, take it a different direction. You know, there's a parking area up here not too far where we parked. And I just came down by the, uh, the rehabilitation uh, place where I, I was talked about them the last time we were here. And you've already seen the view off of this, but boy, you could now that I know you can just park right up there. Of course, it's a haul to get back in there, and you're coming down a dirt road with a lot of bumpy uh, potholes. I mean, you probably probably would want an SUV, or we you know, I'm on my my Honda ADV, you know, an off-road bike. Uh, so it got me got me in there pretty good. But uh, just let, let's pause here. Just want to show you at the beginning. I kind of consider this the beginning of the hike. Uh, so it's very, I mean, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Holy moly, and the weather here, I mean, 70 degrees. I mean, where else would you rather be, you know? We're going to make a resilience video today. I'm going to talk about things and uh, probably going to be making three videos. So, but uh, just wanted to show you. All right. So I thought I'd get another video for the hike here. You know, you can just kind of see the... Uh, now it's a, it's a little bit tough on the tennis shoes. You know, you might want some hikers because this uh, this surface is very uneven. Of course, I don't have my walking stick today because I I knew that this was going to be nice and level. And uh, but I mean, where in the world would you want to spend an afternoon? This is why I love hiking, people. You know, today I was just I was feeling not feeling great, but I'm not feeling bad. And uh, I know that you know when I get out for a long day like this, I'll probably be here. Uh, three or four hours easily, you know, just hiking the whole time. That's what I do and man tomorrow You know if I don't, I don't understand how people who don't exercise uh, Survive because not only does it affect me mentally It affects me physically, you know, and so you know, when I get out here and I do hike for such a long period of time You know, I'm not gonna do any jogging today But sometimes I even throw a little you know a little mini jog in and try to get myself just beat up as much as I can. Then the next day, I'm just loving life, you know, feel feel great. And, but I just wanted to get another video for the hike. It's beautiful. Oh man, check this view out. All right, that's going right down the river. I'm just kind of walking over here to the edge. And, uh, you know, it's kind of meandering along right here. You could walk down there in the grass, but uh, I just soon stay up here on the road. But man, I saw that view with just looking right through that gap. Man, I knew I had to get that on the video. Oh man, all right. Get that on the video. That is a cool looking tree, and it? Had a boat come down the, the river, so that water was deep enough for a boat. I couldn't believe that, you know, with the, so it uh, looks like there might be a little inlet. I'm gonna check that out. Boy, if it goes back through this prairie, that would be cool. Maybe save the uh, the rest of this road for another time. Let's check it out. So this is for the hiking video. Kind of rounded that turn, came down that road. And uh, like I said, there's a little wooded area. I thought we were going to loop right in behind it here, but no. It's going on this way. Boy, I tell you, you could come back here and spend a good 8, 10 hours hiking this. It, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful hike. Hard on the feet, though. These rocks are... You know, they're digging in. I should have brought the hikers, but I I didn't really think about that. I just thought it'd be a nice flat hike, and I saved those hikers for the big brutal hikes, you know, when I go back in the forest, we're hoping to do some camping here soon, you know, if we do have an economic catastrophe. That's the only place I want to be is out, <laughs> out in the forest while people tear themselves apart. But uh, then look at the clouds. You got to get the clouds. They're still rolling. Here's one. This Look at that sucker. All right. And there's the sun. All right. So that's it for one more hiking video. Let's keep on going. So this is for the hiking video today. I, like I told you, I'm making three. I'm making one resilience, one financial crisis, and uh, and then, of course, the, the hike, you know, so you can watch any one you want. And uh, same, same same view but of course this i want you to, the hiking video is all about getting the scenery and the different things there's a little little uh dock 
that's coming out into here. Check out the birds. Man, I, I, I got a good story on these uh, these long beak. I can't they call them Florida chickens or something like that. But you should see them. They can take those beaks. They must be hard as rocks. And they can just jab them right down into the ground because that's what they do to find food. And you got two of them. See, see what he's doing? And uh, some idiot, the story goes, and I, I, did, I wasn't there. I didn't see it. But it, it, I just, if it happened, it's just poetic justice, you know, because you shouldn't be feeding wildlife. So here's, here's some more birds right out here. Uh, but anyway, he, he had a, something in his hand and he gave he's going to give it to that bird, you know, he's going to say, here you go, bird. And uh, <laughs> evidently the bird put the beak right through the guy's hand. I told you they can stick them beaks way down in the ground. I, so it's believable. It's definitely a believable story um, because uh, that beak, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it went right through his hand. I wish I could have seen that, but uh, this is just a view off of the dock. And uh, I just want to look down right over the water here. Here's a, oh, that's pretty cool. There's a water table right here. That would be important. All right, so we're going to continue on down. I probably won't get the next video till we get over here into what looks like we're going to be coming into a bend on the forest. Well, we'll get one more maybe looking back across the, uh, the prairie here. What a treasure, though. I mean, thank God we're preserving places like this on the planet. Very important for our, our next generation, if we have a next generation. Boy, I tell you, we're heading for a world of hurt. All right, here we go. Let's get a little selfie. I just wanted to get more of the uh, the clouds in the video. Look at that. I, I, I love clouds, you know, and, uh, and I, sometimes the, they're, they're out and just, just really add to the hike, you know. Um, there's not much to say about the hike other than it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, just it just kind of still meandering down this road. And uh, but let's let's kind of pan around. Let's get it up high and kind of show you the clouds that have rolled in. Man, that's cool. So now you can see we're a ways down. We came from way down there. I'm just staying up on the road. Uh, the grass, you know, they, they haven't cut it down here for a while. It'd be a little bit tough hiking through there. I probably want my hikers with the uh, the long pants if you wanted to just get stay by the river. You know, I mean, you are by the river. You're just up here on this road rather than being down there. But uh, you can see the birds. There's another. Look at them. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I'm loving this day. So I wanted you to get that <clears throat> Planet of the Apes feel. <laughs> you can tell I like those movies. But just uh, I'm going to be quiet and just kind of let you listen because not a single person today, not a single one. So, okay, so this is a rather bizarre. You got this gravel coming down right here and it goes back into here. So I'm gonna go see if I can get eaten by a gator because uh, who knows what'll be back in here. I don't know what this is supposed to be or if there's supposed to be a road through here or maybe we'll get bitten by a snake. You never know, you never know. But uh, might have to come back with the snake leggings and but it looks like it's just gonna kind of dead end up here. I don't know, but maybe it's just like a little hike down into the swamp, and uh, maybe, oh, you know, it looks like there was a building over here on this pad. Uh, that's rather bizarre. Is that, is that concrete? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Boy, hiking through here. Well, no, it looks like it's just dirt. So what's the point of having this? Looks like you know something's been through here, other than maybe just to see this. I mean, it is cool. Boy, I hope I don't. Uh, this ain't quicksand or something, because <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it is rather unique. Look at this. Yeah, so that was that was worth taking that little jaunt to the side. I'm gonna explore this for a few. If I see anything else, I mean, you kind of see what it looks like. It's just a 
a little uh well i don't know what i guess this is rock looks like gravel kind of mixed in with the sand uh maybe this was something once upon a time but uh I'm sure if you took the tour, they probably would describe what this used to be. You know, there goes a butterfly. And uh, looks like it goes on for a ways. Let's check it out. So it looks like it used to go on that way. Yeah, I'm not going to hike through that. But uh, it's kind of weird. It just came down to about right here and just stopped. But at least it gives you the feel of what it's like to be down in the prairie, you know. I mean, this because uh, this is what it would be like to hike through that. Okay. Uh, be pretty cool. Wonder what's in there. All right, I'm going to get back up on the road and continue on down. So I don't think this is horse poop. I'd be real curious to know what that is. Hmm whole lot of it whatever was here maybe comes back to the same spot because it looks fairly fresh all right so we're just hiking our way back out of the prairie here it was fun though i, I this was a, this was a unique site i uh and here's a big rock pile right here so cool this is always a welcome site after hiking for i don't know how many hours you know you can see uh, I try to kind of hide it over here in the field, way down in the corner. It looks like we got a guy camping up here in the corner, but I'm the only person here. I did see one guy on a bicycle today. That was cool, and about three boats. So, all right.